sorry, I have a chance to seat. Yes, please do. Thank you for coming to see me at short notice. Um, what's the problem? Well, obviously, he has told you about his demotion, hasn't he? What, Phil? Has he not told you? Oh, no. Right, okay, well, you might need to prepare yourself. I know he's been working late recently. He's been had, said he's had a lot of overtime. He's had a lot of uh, extra hours to do to catch up with things. Mm, well, kind of. We had to demote your husband. What? Why? Well, well he, he's just not competent. He, he can't, he just cannot, um, he's not worth the money that he was being paid. He's been with you for 15 years. I don't give a shit how long your husband's been working for this company. Well, we've got a mortgage, we've got, we've got three kids. What do you expect us to do? Hear me out. Your husband, can I put this? He's a very submissive man. What? Phil? I don't think so. Yes. He's, he's submissive. And I've had to demote him, not only because I don't think he's worthy of what I pay him, but also because um, I had a plan for him. And I think it's only fair that I should pre-warn you about my... Um, what sort of plan? Mm -hmm. Well, I have found out that your husband has a fetish. What? He has a fetish what for dominant do women. <laughs> I don't think so. And I are the most dominant woman you can find. So, your husband working for my company with me in charge is a very bad thing, but of course not for me. For him it is. Well, he's never complained about working with you before. Well, mm. if he wants to keep his job at all, then he's going to have to do as I say, isn't he? Because nobody else will it's employ a 55-year-old fat, ugly... Well, he's always worked hard. He's, 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 never, he's never not done his job properly. I'm sure, I'm sure you can, uh, I'm sure you can do something else, can't you? Let's talk about his I want to tell you all about it. Have you ever noticed your husband likes your feet? Mm, well, mm. he always likes cleaning my shoes. <laughs> I bet your shoes are spotlessly clean, aren't they? Oh yeah, he does. He polishes them every Sunday. <laughs> Do you know how he polishes your shoes? Well, he gets he gets his newspaper out and the, the polish. No. I ordered your husband to polish your shoes every Sunday with his tongue. What? <laughs> it's his fetish, I told you. And when I took your husband's car off him, demoted him, put him on minimum wage, do you know what he said? Yes, Miss Howard. And he got down on his knees and he got a hard on. Why, why hasn't he never said anything like this to me before? We've been married for years. He's never even said anything. I'm sure I would have noticed. Are you sure you're telling the truth? Are you happily married? Well... Just be honest with me. Oh, we just... Look, either family. be honest with me or I'm going to sack your husband, okay? Just tell me. Do you have sex? No. Does he satisfy you? Well, we haven't had sex, so I don't know if he satisfies me. <laughs> Let's do a little deal. What sort of deal? I will keep your husband working for me, so I'll make sure that the bills are covered in your household. Well, of course. And you play along with my little plan for your husband. I will set you up with the very hot tea boy. I will show you him later. Oh, he's got a 10-inch cock. I can't do that. I've been married for years. Who gives a shit? Your husband has been getting erections over my dirty shoes. He's cheating on you by looking at my shoes. That is what turns him on. Really? I will set you up with the tea boy. His name's Todd. He's fucking awesome. Ah. Oh. Trust me, you will like him. And um, I will keep your husband involved in the job. Okay. And I will make sure that I get what I want from 
then um, what sort of things do you want? I want him to do exactly as I say. He does my housework. This is not meant to your house. Oh yes, he has. Every night after work. He not only polishes your shoes, he polishes mine, darling. And he's very good at it. I've trained him up well. He does. I literally don't have any work to do here. I'll sit in my office and I will get him to do everything. And he likes it. He needs it. He needs guidance in his life. So and what should I, should I tell him that I know? What should I say to him? Well, he's not going to go very far because your husband will get turned on by the fact that you're going out fucking other men. What, should I be a little bit more dominant with him myself? You need to be. And you will get exactly what you want as well. Oh, he's never really come across to that sort of man, but I'm, uh, I'm sure I could try it. I quite like the sound of that. You're going to have to try it, otherwise I'm just going to have to get rid of your husband altogether and get myself a new slave. That's what I call them, by the way. They're not employees. I have about ten on the payroll now. None of them, of course, knew they had this fetish before they met me. So how did you uh, get them enticed into it? I'm sure what's he been doing all this time that he's been with you? Well, he didn't. He wasn't really into it when he first started here for my company. But um, I, I trained him up. And he knows what's good for him. I mean, he's got nothing going for him. He's tips. overweight, he's ugly, he's disgusting. And now he's not going to be earning very much either. We may as well. So, so, so do I, do I, should I tell him that I'm into it? Should I tell him that I like to be a, a very dominant, strong woman? Or should I just... Uh... Yes. Tell him you've spoken to me. Okay. And that um, he's to do, he's allowed to um, be dominated by you as well. So, uh, what time will he be home this evening? Hmm. What time would you like him home this evening? Hmm. Well, normally I have his tea ready for him when he walks in the door. Oh my we... gosh, no. I will tell him to come home, to make your dinner, to clean your car, hmm? to service your pussy after you've gone out with Troy. And Todd. <laughs> and Chris. Oh, Chris. <laughs> I'm going to turn him into your pussy licking, cum eating. So he could be like a mage. Yes. I've always wanted a cleaner in dogs. <laughs> he can clean your pussy after you've been fucking my other employees, my real man. I like licking their cum out from my pussy. <laughs> And he might even be licking mine as well. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe you should send him home a little bit early today. We'll see. I'll see if he's a good boy. Let's see how much money he can make me. He's not keeping to his deadlines. I swear to God, I am, I am going to give him a little bit of corporal punishment later. Well, I give you mm -hmm. permission to do whatever you want to do as long as I can get my own way to it. Darling, I don't need your permission, but I am grateful that you're playing along nicely. Well, I'm sure we can uh, make it into a little business ourselves. Ooh, now that's an idea. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your time. And, uh, um, it's been very informative. Uh, I'm sure I have lots to think about now. Mm -hmm. And um, on your way out, check out Dave. Um, He's hot as well.